Hello students, welcome to Hiva Max. 9 standard signs love on the unit 5 magnetism and electromagnetism. Pakla. Answer in briefly first question. First question Pakla, state Fleming's left hand rule. The law states that while stretching the three fingers of left hand in perpendicular manner with each other, if the direction of the current is denoted by the middle finger of the left hand and the second finger is for direction of the magnetic field, then the thumb of the left hand denotes the direction of the force or movement of the conductor. Second question, define magnetic flux density. The number of magnetic field lines crossing unit area kept normal to the direction of the field line is called magnetic flux density. Its unit is Wb per meter square. Third question paranga list the main parts of an electric motor. Main parts of an electric motor are the field magnet, permanent magnet, armature, rectangle coil, split rings, commutator, carbon brush, and battery motor. And main parts are at the fourth question. Draw and label the diagram of AC generator. Nama book la irukko. Idu vandu rombo mukhya mana or question already kater kanga. Nama parts un correcta mark pannu. Parts enna nu kile le dono. Parts enna nan pakla. N S permanent magnets. A B C D rectangular coil or armature. S one S two slip rings. B one B two carbon brushes. State the advantages of AC over DC. The voltage of AC can be varied easily using a device called transformer. The AC can be carried over long distance using step up transformers. Second point, the loss of energy when distributing current in the form of an AC is negligible. Direct current cannot be transmitted as such. The AC can be easily converted into DC and generating AC is easier than DC. The AC can produce electromagnetic induction which is useful in several ways. Differentiate step up and step down transformer. Step up transformer. This transformer used to change a low alternating voltage to a high alternating voltage is called a step up transformer. Vs should be greater than Vp. Transformer used to change a high alternating Voltage to a low alternating voltage is called step down. Vs is less than Vp. Second point in a step up transformer, the number of turns in secondary coil is more than the number of turns in primary coil. So Ns should be greater than Np. In a step down transformer, the number of turns in the secondary coil are less than the number of turns in primary coil. So Ns is the Np. Seventh question, a portable radio has a built-in transformer so that it can work from the mains instead of batteries. Is this a step up or step down transformer? Give reason. Answer on the, it is a step down transformer so that rectified DC voltage is equal to battery voltage. Hence, it can work on mains as well as on battery. Eighth question on the state Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. First line and park lamp. Whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with the closed circuit, an EMF is produced and the amount of EMF induced varies directly as the rate at which the flux changes. This EMF is known as induced EMF and the phenomenon of producing an induced EMF due to change in the magnetic flux linked with the closed circuit is known as electromagnetic induction. Second law, the magnitude of the induced current is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux link linked with the coil. Thank you so much for watching.